Now, as a special new feature, I would like to talk to you about the wonderful words of animals. This is a cow. Me. Me. Jean-Paul, Jean-Paul, my little Jean-Paul, what yes. the hell do you think you're doing? Remember, you promised me, Antoine, that every week I could have my own segment. Uh, to talk about all my special interests. Yes, Jean-Paul, but I thought your special interest mm. uh, would be something, you know, a bit uh, harder. Maybe something in a dark, sweaty disco, a bit of uh, rumpy pumpy in the toilets, for example. So you mean that you don't like my Mr. Cow? Yes, I like Mr. Cow. But this is your trash. Mm. We've got to be a little more sleazy. Bon, if you think it's better, I will try, how do you say, to be a little more sleazy. Good. Drink your milk. Make you stronger. Cheers. To you. My name is Antoine Decaune and my charming co-presenter, Monsieur Jean-Paul Gaultier, joins me now live via satellite. Can you hear me, Jean-Paul Yes, Antoine. Bonsoir and bonsoir to all my British chums. I drink a toast to you. Chin chin Jean-Paul, I told you no drinking if you're driving, especially with children in the car. Don't be silly, Antoine. It is just a little bit of champagne. Look, I give some to Pepe and Popo. And they love it, you know? I'm not joking, Jean-Paul. You stop that right now. It's dangerous. And... Jean-Paul? Jean-Paul? Oh, merde, look at this, what I have done. You know, I have killed Mr. Cow. I am a bad man. You know, I didn't you do that in purpose. I told you. Now, look, we must put Pipi and Popo on the front seat, so yeah. when the police comes in, we pretend they were driving, okay? But it's not true, Antoine. It's not true. It's your choice, Jean-Paul. You can be honest, or you can be free. Before you laugh too much at the German team for singing with the village people, remember, my friends, at least the Germans are in the World Cup. You didn't even qualify. You have no team, no song, nothing. In fact, the best player in your country is a French existentialist. Excuse me, Antoine, <laughs> but it is also true for France, no? I mean, we are not playing in the World Cup either, no? You don't get smart with me, Jean-Paul. You just introduce the next one. And now, my friends, is the moment you've been waiting for where we reveal our brand new mascot for this brand new South of the Border series. Here she is, Kaki. Kaki is a cactus. Excuse me, Antoine, but you say nothing about a new mascot. What about Pipi and Popo? They are the mascot of our trash, and we love them. I piss on Pipi and Popo. Everybody's sick of them. They're worse than Mr. Blobby. But how can you say that? Don't you remember all the magic moments we shared together? Look. Mm. Antoine de Cohn was a woman's panties. Mm. Just kiss. You like it? So? Well, as I was saying, give a big ole to Kaki the Cactus, finally a mascot that actually has moving body parts. Take it away, Kaki. Ole. Many of you have been writing to find out whatever happened to the wonderful Mr. Cow. Well, my British chums, we have some good news and some bad news. The good news? is that Mr. Cow does not have mad cow's disease. He is mad, yes, he is a totally crazy cow, but he is 100% grade A beef. In fact, if we didn't love him so much, we probably would have eaten him a long time ago. But the bad news is that Mr. Cow has disappeared. He has run away from home because he thinks he will be taken away with all the other mad cow. So please, my friends, if you see a cow that is green and who answers to the name Mr. Cow, please tell him to come home. And Mr. Cow, if you are out there watching, je t'aime, mon amour, je t'aime, je t'aime terriblement. <laughs> You're a brave boy, okay. Mr. Cow. We'll be back. Did you know, Antoine, that giraffe can paint too? And look at the beautiful picture that Pipi and Popo did for us. Isn't it nice? Oh, it is wonderful. 
Antoine and I are now driving down to Spain, where we plan to eat a big bowl of testicles. Yes, that's right, my friends. But these are not your typical testicles. These are the big furry balls of a bull. Because our next story is about the strange world of bullfighting. Personally, I don't like bullfighting. I think this is disgusting. But I do like testicles, especially when they are fried in olive oil. Mm. Delicious. Here at Eurotrash, we are against bullfighting because we believe in the ethical treatment of animals. Sure, we sometimes use PP and Popo as golf clubs, and sure, sometimes we make Mr. Cow tow the car, but he loves it. Don't you, Mr. Cow? Hey, what are you doing? Don't do that. Oh. Hey, it's only a cardboard cow. Oh. Bon, that is for PP and Popo. It is for you, it is if you make poo poo. So if you make poo poo, no problem now, I have that for you. So for you, Pipi, and for you, Popo. It's very Hello, good. Hello, nice. Jean-Paul. I'm home. Hello, Antoine, how are you? Well, I'm fine. And you know what? No, I'm hungry. Well, 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 well. So we have chicken or fishy. What? Yes, we have chicken, which I can make very chickeny. And we have fishy, which I can make. Make very fishy, I know. Look, Jean-Paul, every week it's the same. It's fishy or chicken, chicken or fishy. Fishy à la chicken, chicken à la fishy, what I know. I just can't stand it anymore. I'm getting crazy. Here in France, we are always finding exciting new ways to satisfy our strange sexual appetite. The latest technique is DIY porno films, as in do it yourself, not in the sense that you actually do it to yourself, but that you get to be the writer, producer and director of your very own fantasy film. Jean-Paul, I believe you have tested this service for your trash. Yes, Antoine, it was a fabulous, marvelous experience, you know, because when you go to a video porno normal, you know, you don't find what you are looking for, you know. There you can do your own veritable fantasy. So can we see it? No, 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 because it's private, you know, so you cannot show it. That is the whole process, you know. Okay, roll the tape. No, 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 please, Antoine, no, it's impossible, I don't want it. So, Pipi and Popo, you have to be very nice and to do whatever I tell you to do. Open your mouth, just kiss. You like it? Bon, I thought it was about time you British saw the truth. Jean-Paul is not as cuddly and innocent as he looks. He is a very sick man. Don't cry, my little ones. Here. Do a big blow. Okay, good girl. So, my British chums, as you can see, we are feeling sad because we have come to the end of another wonderful series of Euro Trash. We'll be back, uh, but in the meantime... In the meantime, please write to Channel 4 and tell them how much you love the programme. This way, Jean-Paul and I can ask them for more money next time. And let's face it, my friends, we are here for the money. We are not here because we like you. <laughs> so it's show for now, my British chums, and a big kiss to all of you. Allez, salut maintenant! <laughs>